to my channel if you're new here my name is grace make sure you definitely subscribe down below so as you guys can see by the title today i'm going to be doing an updated get ready with me show you guys how i do my hair and then how i do like my full makeup that you guys mostly always see in like my youtube videos and like tiktoks and all that stuff yeah that's pretty much what this video is going to be so if you guys want to see how i completed this look make sure you just keep on watching so i'm going to start by curling my hair first and you guys always are asking me how i'm curling my hair so i figured i would show you also in this video because it kind of just fits perfectly for like get ready with me so i'm gonna be using the beach waver pro one i'm gonna get it turned on and heated up i just did a one inch the really cool part about beach waver products is they literally will like curl your hair for you you can set it on what direction you want it to curl and then you just press go and it twists your hair right up so it's super easy especially if you're a beginner i'm gonna prep my hair first thing i have my beach waver brush as well seriously i love their products i actually got my mom one of their curling irons for Christmas for her. I got her like the really thin one though. And they also sent over their Great Barrier heat protection and hairspray. So it's a kind of like a two-in-one. Smells so good. I'm gonna start by kind of sectioning out my hair. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna kind of pull up this top section so basically what you do when you use the beach waver wand is clip in piece and i want it to be curling away from my face this way so i have it on the left setting so it's just curling away you just press the go button and it literally just curls it for you like that's all there is to it it's so easy so cool and you don't really have to hold it very long it curls my hair super quick so then i just release the clamp and you have your little perfect curl sections about this big not like super thick or anything release it for people that can't figure it out as easily this is just so nice so i'm gonna do the rest of my head right now now that i'm to the other side of my head i'm actually going to switch the direction on it so the curls are going away from my face here is after doing my entire head, after all my curls are done, flip my head a few times, run my fingers through to kind of brush out the curls. And then as you can see, you just have like super voluminous, pretty curls. It's literally just like the perfect curling wand size. If you guys want to check out the Beach Waver, I will have a link in my description box and let's get into doing my makeup. So I take these clips, I literally got them at Walmart and I just pin back the front pieces to get my hair just like out of my face. If you see me looking this way, it's because I have a mirror. I always put on SPF first. So I've just been using this B-Tan SPF 70. I like kind of switch off. This one smells literally so good so i had this like popped blood vessel right here on my eye you probably have seen it in like vlogs or stuff when i'm not wearing makeup it's not i mean it's more noticeable when i'm not wearing makeup um if i'm wearing makeup you honestly can't tell but i had it like lasered off last week so i've been putting sunscreen on it the girl said to do that but it's actually like healing so well so i have like two makeup looks that i always do i have like my beach everyday kind of makeup i don't really wear makeup every day unless i'm filming or i'm going to the beach and taking pictures and then i have like my filming type of makeup which i feel like is what you guys see the most so that's what i'm going to be doing for today's video because i'm just going to show you the full scoop honestly this makeup look is like what i pretty much would do for the beach just no foundation frankie rose prime addiction one so i'm just gonna put this in my t-zone so when i do foundation i do the frankie rose matte perfection foundation i really really like this i have two shades from them so like in the winter i just use the lighter one but then in the summer for like i'm self tanned or something i mix in the darker one and then just like a little bit of the darker one and then i like mix it on my face i don't know if that's weird but that's what i do I feel like using this foundation and the primer together just like work together really well. The thing I like about this foundation is I used to use the IT Cosmetics one a few years ago and then I started using this one and I haven't gone back to that one. I just feel like this one's like, it's buildable coverage but it's still like, I feel like if I just do like one layer of it, it's still like light if that makes sense. Like it's not so cakey, loosely take it down my neck. I used to like put like foundation all over my neck but now I don't. My neck doesn't tan. It like literally won't hold a tan. I don't know if anyone else's neck is like that, but I go out and I am in the sun. My tan, my face and my neck don't get tan at all. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is literally my favorite concealer. I need to get a new one 
for like my face because if I'm like doing just like super light makeup I use a little bit of a darker one on like my face but I don't have one right now so I've just been using this one luckily I haven't been breaking out too badly so I really haven't been needing to put it anywhere in my t-zone and then under my eyes just like that and I blend upward and then do my eyes last when I'm blending my eyes I try and blend like upward okay so I have my face fully done so sometimes I do like cream products sometimes I don't and honestly just depends how I'm feeling I bought this Charlotte Tilbury glow blush wand thing <laughs> And honestly, I'm not obsessed with it. I don't think I would repurchase it just because I feel like for the price, you don't get very much product in here. I just also like to set all my products. So I feel like once I set my cream product, it just like diminishes the fact that I used cream. So I'm going to use it today just to use it, whatever it's what I've been doing recently, but I won't be repurchasing this. I just don't think it's worth the hype. And I feel like not enough people say that. That's my um, thoughts, but I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks i'm using the wet n wild contour stick this is literally so cheap i love wet n wild and then i'm just using this sigma contour blush brush i've really been liking this brush for like blending out my cream products and i do use cream products more when i don't wear foundation as well like that literally blends out so good under five dollar product i feel like the first time i literally used this i was like why does it literally feel like it's already to like here and this is how big the product is it's like when you open a bag of chips and the chips are like three-fourths of the way full and it's just like and then i'm just gonna use that same brush and blend it and i wanted to try it for literally so long so i ended up just buying it one day randomly i mean it's super pretty but i just don't know if it's like worth 45 dollars sorry if you hear a lawnmower in the background I'm gonna take my bronzer. I've been using the Wet n Wild bronzer in What Shady Beaches. These are such funny names. It does have a slight like sheen to it, I will say, which isn't my favorite, but again, it's super cheap and honestly, I just needed a bronzer. Wet n Wild one, it's good. Um, It does have a little sheen, so if that bugs you, then maybe don't get this one, try a different one, but it doesn't bug me. I feel like it's not like super shiny or anything. So set everywhere that I put the bronzer and then I also take it down my neck as well. Then I'm gonna take my Tarte blush in Captivating. I do like these blushes in general. I have two of these Tarte ones. But when I do this over the Charlotte Tilbury one, it does give you like a really bright color. I know I look like a crazy person right now, but I'm not gonna blend anything out. I'm gonna take my powder. You guys know I literally have probably used this in every makeup tutorial. The CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. I'm gonna set everywhere that I didn't set with bronzer or blush. This powder is literally the best product. I feel like drugstore products, you can literally find good things. Honestly, I probably use more drugstore than high-end. I'm just taking this Real Techniques brush. Really like these brushes also, they're sold at Target. Next, I'm going in with my Tarte palette. I love this palette so much. This is one product that I would say is worth your money. It's clay palette and it just looks like this inside. It's like super neutrals, they're all matte, but I just take the middle shade and I'm just gonna contour slightly and then I just like barely take it up here. I'm going to take a little like angled, this is honestly like an eyeshadow brush or something. It's just from an Amazon like set and I'm gonna do my nose so I just take it and I do like a line like that right there and then I bring it down and then just do on the sides of my bridge. And then I just throw this also in my crease. Blending is key. Okay, I have literally been on Instagram the past 20 minutes like responding to comments and making my posts, blending out my nose contour now. Okay, literally that lawnmower guy is so loud. This is basically my face. I'm gonna do my highlighter. I'm taking my highlighter palette. This palette is really good. Again, it's cheap. It's from Ulta. I think they started selling Revolution though at Target as well, but I just put it on all the high points. Then I take this little like lip liner brush and I just take it and put it on my inner corner. It's easier than using like the other brushes. Then I just take this like random brush and I just blend out my highlighter because I don't want it to be like overly harsh looking. Then I'm taking my bubble. This is their bounce back refreshing toner. I actually just use this to set my face. I learned this trick from my friend Brooke. It works so well for setting your face. So for brows, I really don't do anything. Babe Lash brow filler gel stuff. And I just like run this through my eyebrows. And then I just take the Great Lash Clear Brow Gel by Maybelline. Well, actually this is mascara, but I use it as clear brow gel. 
Okay, so now for my eyes. I always get questions. I just do like a winged eyeliner. So for my winged eyeliner, I use just the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I just do a wing and then I do like a small bringing it in the inner corner. For my lower lash line recently, I've been using the Sigma Long Wear Eyeliner Pencil. And I really, really like this one as well. So if I'm going to like the beach or like something like that, I don't normally do like this eyeliner. But if I'm doing like filming day makeup and I do want to look like a little bit better, I do the winged eyeliner. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I just used the Tweezer Man eyelash curler. I just curled them. Now I'm gonna do my. That is literally so odd. I really apologize, you guys. I can't do anything about it. Oh, small wing. Honestly, just like that, and then I'll just flick it in. Honestly, sometimes it doesn't even look that good. I just go with it. I feel like once you put on mascara, it just looks better. And then I just drag it in. I don't know if you can see, but that's pretty much all I do. So I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, they're done. Okay, I'm gonna take this and then just do it on my waterline. For mascara, when I'm doing like filming or shooting or anything, I always wear waterproof. I just use the Wet n Wild Mega Length mascara. It looks like this in waterproof. If I'm just doing like regular mascara, I just use the Maybelline their green edition one. I worked with them on this. I actually really like it. Or I've used the Wet n Wild Big Papa. I also like this one, but I'm like out of it. So for the most part, I always wear waterproof just because I feel like it holds my eyelash curl better. I also just like this wand. It's so thin and easy. I always end up with stuff on my eyelids, but I just take a Q-tip after and get it off. I do also use Babe Lash, their eyelash serum. The last step in my makeup routine and probably one of the most important is my lip routine because I feel like if I don't have lip product on my lips just like blend into my skin so I'm always see me at the beach I'll be like hold on I need some type of lip product on in my beach bag I keep this little like bag and in here I have one of my powders the mini Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lipstick and then a lip liner and then I also have like a sunscreen chapstick a lip gloss and a little baby makeup wipe in case I need to wipe my makeup off so I'm gonna use the um, Revlon color stay lip liner in mink to line and I don't really overline my lips. I just kind of follow the natural line. But then for my top lip, I do overline like just slightly like right there. So when I go to the beach, I do like a matte lipstick because just if it's windy or something, I don't want like lip gloss, my hair like flying in it. I just hate that. So that's why I use the pillow talk for the beach. But then if I'm just like filming a video or doing something, I always like gloss better. I just think it's like cuter. And so I'm just gonna use the Milani Fruit Fetish lip oil in raspberry peach just to go over this and i really really like this if you guys have been wanting to try like the dior lip glow oil i've tried it i didn't love it for the price this though so good it smells literally so good so that's the finished makeup look here we go we got the finished hair and makeup i don't even think i really need to touch up my hair i feel like it looks pretty good i'm gonna go add in my earrings and jewelry because i just feel like i don't feel complete without that and then i'll get back to you guys so this is the completed hair and makeup using the beach waver wand and then my full like in-depth makeup routine i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this gave you some insight to like what i do for filming and all that stuff because i do know you guys always are asking me questions on both of these things so i really hope you got some tips or tricks from this or found some new products make sure you guys don't forget to check out beach waver down below i will have a link for everything down there if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you're new definitely subscribe down below if you want to see like my beach makeup that I do let me know if you guys like like tutorials and those types of things so just let me know what you guys want to see from me but thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys